welcome back. If you saw the last episode, you'd know that there is a 99.9998% chance that my computer will explode and this recording will not even be posted because of that when I talk to this guy. But we're going to try it anyway, and obviously it did work if you're watching this, so let's go. First off is a hacking. Sup, bro? I, uh, I now. killed everybody except the uh, ambassador, so you're like, you're, you're probably furious right now, huh? And computer explode. What? We're safe. You did it. I did what no one else could have done. You saved us all. I did it. You owe you our lives, every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. Oh, it's Esselus. That's how you pronounce it. Well, let us celebrate for a moment. The computer did not explode. I up I upgraded the engine to one point seven point eight, and it worked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. We all just do our part. It's all a part of the service. There's no reason for modesty. What you have accomplished here is truly amazing. Oh, just, just tell me how awesome I am. I from everyone on, on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need. The same way you saved us. I don't need a reward. I mean, sure, I'm a smuggler and take credits by take by breaking laws, but I don't need a reward. Keep, keep your credits. I'm sure you'll need them more than me. That's extremely gracious to tell you. Thank you. No, no, no. Much. No, I thought you were going to give them to me anyway. No, I thought you were going to force me to take them. No. Now he's going to take case steal everyone else's credits. Ambassador Asara, it's it's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. It's a relief to be back, Hawken. I'm just glad that this is all finally. You you don't realize he, he wanted to kill you, do, do you, Ambassador? You're finally safe. I want to thank you again for everything you've done. Heroes like you are hard to come by, and the Republic needs everyone they can get. Happy to help. I just do what I can when things get rough. What you did here was incredible. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrin is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. He'll stop at nothing? Who stops at nothing, huh? I never, have you ever stopped at zero? At zilch? Well, how do you even do that, huh? To get his revenge. Well... He can try. Sounds like I'd better keep my guard up from now on. That would be wise. There's nothing Kilrin isn't capable of. Except killing me. He's anyway, incapable of that. Enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again. And good luck in the future. Alright. So, I get to be the, uh... Captain now, I get to plot our ship's course. Oh, you guys. You, uh, think we can make it in this hunk of junk? I mean, one of our crucial bridge consoles kind of has seen better days here, you know, if you know what I mean. It looks kind of busted. You know, I mean, shooting electrons out at everybody. Too dangerous for you, girl. S S Celis technician. You sure you don't want to let the man take care of it? An expert? Oh, I got this. There's nothing right clickable though. Eh. Alright. At least I can do is give you lucky shots though. Nope. You're not a player. Sorry. I guess I can't then. Alright, let's plot this course then. Sensors show no hostile contacts. Resume course to Coruscant. Oh, I want Coruscant now. Yes, go to Coruscant. And... Hyperdrive activated.
You can have a friendly duel with other players at any time, and in most areas. To do so, target the player you wish to duel against, right-click on their portrait, and select the duel option. And if you beat them, they'll complain that you're like one level above them, and they'll go crying home to their mommy, and they'll say, Oh, oh, someone who's one level above them beat me. But it's this game is so un unfair. I, I, if I was their level, I totally would have crushed them into the ground. Yeah, that always happened. And then, and then if there's someone who's 15 levels above me beats me, I'm like, Oh, I totally could have gotten him. I don't, ah, oh, this, this game, I got lagged out. If I had a Mac Pro, I could have totally owned him. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's a little bit the same, but it's kind of different, our reactions. And then, if I beat them, if I would actually beat them, though, I'd, I'd be like, what? I, I did that? No way. Ah. Oh. I must be the best player this game there ever was. And now I get killed by a level 4 person. Probably what would happen next, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Almost sounds like I'm talking from experience. No. No. Unless you count experience from the future. It's probably going to happen at some point if I play this game long enough. So I'm, I'm level 4 person's gonna catch me when I'm AFK, when I'm saving an episode I've recorded, and then they blow me up with their little baby weapons, and yeah. Then they go stomp all over my corpse and loot it or something. How would you load faster, goodness? Oh, man. I've never had a duel that was friendly, though, I must say. Oh, there was this one duel, though. There was this one duel once. All right, true story. In this game, there was this one duel. Somebody challenged me to a duel right in the middle of a firefight. I mean, sure, we won't, they won the firefight then, but it was a hostile area, and, like, there were bad guys appearing everywhere. And we're like, ooh, can we have a hostile, friendly duel right here in this hostile area? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. And they're like, why, why, why the evil laughing? Oh, oh, nothing, no reason why. It, it, I intend to use my environment to my advantage, if you know what I mean. But I already accepted the duel, so there's no turning back. Five, four, three, two, one, and environmental damage. <laughs> I won. I crushed them so hard. All right. Well, apparently, I got 144. Of these credits. What is that? Persuade credits? Branch credits? What is that? Is that like if I'd persuaded him to give me more credits, he would have? If I had branched out and gotten some money off the credits off the trees? What does that mean? Experience points plus six. That is a sad amount of experience points. Golly. Light side points. 250 affection gain 300 my goodness that's like double or something right how much is that that's it that's a serious amount of affection there it is it's like almost double not quite but it's a lot cool and what's this an unsecured prototype storage case right click you open all right, clicking. Oh wait, I have to subscribe. <laughs> Pay to win. That's the kind of setup we got here. Isn't that right? That sucks. I hate pay to win, don't you? Hold on. Aw, oh, I want to kill myself real quick. I hate pay to win so much, I'm just going to murder myself. And goodbye, world. I I can't jump through the force field. Oh man, that's like a. Oh come on! I thought that was just smog. It's actually a real force field. All right. Whoa, that's a big ship. All right, we're cool. 
log tie. Someone up for ancient secrets. It's like the fleet, I guess. Of course, that's where it's all at. You know? What's over here? There's just so much to do here on Coruscant. I mean, the whole city is just one big planet where people are retarded and have to write 50,000 question marks one after the other. What's this? Customs terminal? I just saved the Acelis. What kind of contraband you think I'm carrying? Don't worry about me. No, I'm not. I'm worried about these insane people who think they need to Checking for me for contraband. Idiots. Alright, what do we got here? You. What's the situation? Oh, you're not even targetable. You ghost. You're not even there. I'm passed through you. And you. You're also. You look just like him. What's the deal with that, huh? What do you think about it, Corso? You got guts, Captain. I hope you don't mind if I come along to take a few hits for you. That's not really related to what I was asking about. And you! What's your problem? You're like, you're the same as the other two. Is that... Reminds me of a Twilight Zone episode. Number 12 will do just fine. You remember that one? Do you? Did you ever see that one? Twilight Zone? The original one. You know the one with the black and white? You know, you don't, you don't, you weren't alive back then like I was. Yeah, I've been alive for a few centuries, you know? It's, uh, it all kind of runs together after a while. But Twilight Zone kind of sticks out, you know? You don't, I, we went over that, you don't know. Where are we going? Over here. And you, sir. You're also number 12, aren't you? Goodness. Oops. No, don't notice me. Don't notice me. Hey! You'll have to excuse me. I'm always here on business. Good to see you. Yeah, you were waving at me, so... Kind of weird. Me and him, we go way... Sure good at making a fellow feel small. This is kind of inspiring. Kind of? This place is awesome. It's where it is. Where is it? It's where it is. Unlock that. I already did. I've been here before. In case you were wondering. I already been here once. So where to? Wait. Oh. That's my bounding contract. Alright, but first... First, though... I'm going to go see if it's even possible for me to dump some of these uh, war zone commendations someplace. So uh, that'll have you happen in the next episode. Probably doesn't sound very interesting, but maybe something unexpected will happen. You never know, right? Never know. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.